when i say rss comrade should understand rss claims that is the largest mass organization in the world but rss is not a registered organization rss is not answerable to any law any authority if some people do something cleverly they will say they are fringe elements they are fringe organizations but they are rss this rss is responsible for the disharmony in our society communal clashes in our society communal violence in our society and rss tries to impose a monolithic illiberal socio political order on the people of our country how to stop this how to fight this so our party in its resolution clearly spells out its position the situation that is emerging in the country demands that all secular democratic parties must come together all secular democratic parties must come together they must do serious introspection what we need to understand we are in a new situation bjp coming to power should not be understood as though it is routine change of government no bjp coming to power definitely means a right wing shift in indian politics a right wing shift in indian politics it definitely means the right wing shift is leading to fascism that's what we are witnessing in india so as communists we have to play an important role in the given situation in the emerging situation there our resolution says india has certain fundamental issues the class exploitation class exploitation and we need to build strong working class movement we used to be, we should build strong peasantry movement the working class is fighting the farmers waged a battle for one year more than 700 people died the kisan andolan around delhi but what next what next so these are the questions which we need to understand we have to build strong working class movement we will have to build strong movement of peasantry agricultural workers we have to build strong youth students movement this we should do india as its own unique problems it is not just class exploitation it is not just question of haves and have nots it is not just question of poor and rich there is caste caste discrimination caste hierarchy as communists how we are going to fight the caste system then patriarchy what is the condition of our women recently a report has come about gender gap our women comrades must have gone through it india has placed at 130 fourth place or something this is uh, india our women maybe we have the present women maybe 
we have one chief minister women in one state. Maybe we have one or two women as leaders of political parties. But when it comes to the general women folk, how they are treated? Why they continue to fight for gender equality? Empowerment of women, starting from reservation in parliament and assemblies. So patriarchy is a problem in India. Patriarchy is a problem in India. Now patriarchy has become a problem in uh, other countries coming out openly. Iran, what is happening? Iran, what is happening? Muslim women, they cut their hair and put it as a flag to draw the attention of the world. It shows the anger of women for not getting equality, equal treatment. So in India, we have class issues, we have caste issues, we have patriarchal issues. As communists, we must deal with them. We must apply our Marxist ideology, Leninist ideology to Indian conditions, to Indian conditions. It means we must take up the issues of livelihood of the people. What are those issues? Our resolution explains. Education, health, employment, housing, right to food. These are the fundamental issues of livelihood of the people. Livelihood of the people. All our people should have access to education, health care. All citizens should have housing. Our young people should have employment. Now, Mahatma Gandhi Na National Rural Employment Guarantee Act, they are not getting money. Now, the demand is, we must demand Urban Employment Guarantee Act because unemployment has become such a menace in urban side. How to tackle it? So as party, we must take up these issues and mobilize the people. And we must also appeal to all secular democratic parties to take up such issues and go to people mobilize them. That will lead to our political fight against BJP RSS combined. It is accepted. BJP RSS must be defeated. How to defeat? This is what people are asking. How to defeat BJP RSS combined? So the secular democratic parties must come together. And they must act in the new situation with mutual accommodation and mutual trust. Here we appeal to regional parties also. They must also do some serious introspection. When I say regional parties, there is drastic change in the thinking of regional parties. The next door, adjacent state, Tamil Nadu, DMK is a regional party, but it has agreed to work with left and other secular forces. There is a progressive, secular progressive coalition in Tamil Nadu. We must take note, they speak Dravidian model. That's another thing. But they are opposed to the union government. They are opposed to the grabbing of powers by union government. They are so vocal for state rights, state rights, state powers in the name of federalism. It is happening. Now Nitish Kumar has come out. 
from BJP, and he has aligned with Magagat Bandhan, in which our party is there, CPM is there, ML is there, and it is a new development in Bihar. The same developments are taking place. The allies of BJP are breaking with BJP. But how to unite them? How to lead them in this struggle? There our party, as criticism of Congress, Congress cannot continue to be as it is today. Congress must revise its policies. In fact, the neoliberal policies were introduced by Congress government. Mr. Narasimhara was the Prime Minister. Mr. Manmohan Singh was the Finance Minister. The neoliberal policies were introduced and implemented in India. But after that, the BJP is aggressively pursuing the same policies. What is the stand of Congress? Can Congress agree to the same positions? Congress will have to revise its policies. In fact, we have Dimhaza pointed out, at least Congress should speak about Nervin economic policies. Nervin economic policies. The mixed economy, giving the key role for public sector. It was Nehru who built Planning Commission. It was Nehru who introduced planned economy. Now, what is Congress is doing? What is the policy of Congress? So, unless Congress revise its policies to the demand of the new situation, Congress cannot solve its internal turmoil also. That is for Congress to understand. Congress to understand. Congress fight if it is primarily against BJP. What Congress should do? We are questioning Congress. The same way regional parties in Telangana, KCR is openly confronting BJP. But Andhra Jaganmohan Reddy is wavering this side, that side. Orissa Navin Patnaik is wavering. And these regional parties must realize they cannot remain right of center. They cannot remain as part of political conservatism. Even if they don't take the left of center positions, they must remain centrist. It is need of the hour. This is what our resolution points out. The secular democratic parties, regional parties must come together and work together, mobilizing people. The primary objective is to defeat BJP-RSS combined.